Having cycle paths like these that are removed from the road surface, which is a complete separate path, is really, really great. And I, I honestly hope that um, in the not too distant future we can get up to thousand kilometers of similar paths. And it's absolutely brilliant because we can get out of cars and onto bikes quite safely in fact and it makes commuting a whole bunch easier for those that are keen on cycling. Um, and Cape Town has a great event called the Argus Cycle Tour so people can actually train while they're going to work. So it becomes part of a non-motorized transport setup in fact. Honestly I'm, I'm from Joburg actually. I came for the launch actually and um, I just want to take the experience back to Joburg and tell them that how amazing it is because it, it comes with uh, a, a whole lot of good things. Um, number one, being traffic. Number two, obesity. Number three, greening the environment. So I think we do need to move towards the direction of our country having bicycle tracks and being recognized more than anything. Um, I think the city is doing everything in its power to improve pedestrian and bicycle and non-motorized transit and I think that's a fantastic thing for Cape Town and I hope the routes expand because that's what the city needs is more of these NMT routes. First of all it's a lovely morning in Cape Town, a little bit windy but otherwise okay. Um, we're going to take a ride on a bicycle with a couple of people from Cape Town citizens and so on. Um, we're going to test the first non-motorized uh, track. Uh, from here to the inner city of Cape Town and it is just to urge people to do the same. We would love people to get out of their private vehicles uh, into public transport to test public transport but also if you're a cyclist, a biker, get on your bicycle, drive into town. I think what we try and do is to make it more accessible, more easier for cyclists as well to have their own track and uh, not to fear for oncoming vehicles and things like that. Public transport is the in thing today, it's the thing to do, the best thing to do, but also to be on your bicycle, I think it's, it seems a little bit much better. And I'm going to test that myself this morning. This has been an awesome experience for myself. I didn't think I would last the eight kilometers on the tandem, but I did, so I feel proud of myself. But just seeing the, the faces of people, seeing how they enjoy it, seeing the appreciation that they give to the city. And so, yes, um, what we would like to do is to encourage people to get on their bikes. We'd also like uh, to encourage other companies in and, in and out of the CBD, that they create shower facilities, holding space for their staff, um, and the city is, is also again taking the forefront. Uh, we'll go in later on and uh, see the shower facilities that we have for our own staff. Also, we're holding space. But yes, there's a lot of um, challenges for us too that we need to create more. When you build a lane like that, you've got to um, pre uh, prepare the um, infrastructure around it too. So we can't just put the lane in place, we've got to see what is happening in and around it. But I must say, um, for us and the city, again, we're on the forefront. In fact, we are getting a, a delegation of councillors from the city of Johannesburg wanting to come and learn from us. So we, uh, they're here for four days. We are definitely taking them onto this route. Uh, we're also taking them to all our other legacy projects. This for me is a legacy that we're leaving behind. So um, once again, I can just thank everyone that has been involved. 
the partnership that we have with the other bicycle networks, pedal power, bin empowering network, that is the thing that works for us. We're not just building a public transport system with buses, we're also looking at how people get to and from the different bus stations and pedestrian safety and cycle safety is very, very important as part of that whole system. So this dedicated busways just for people who are working and exercising and getting to and from the different bus stations. And what you can do is that when you get to the bus station, if you've cycled there, you can put your bike on the bus, get to the end of your destination and cycle the last little bit home. So really what we're trying to show Cape Town and quite frankly the rest of the country is that Cape Town is cycle town.